Apple has released iOS and HomePod Mini software 16.3 which brings quite a few new features to the HomePod Mini. The most exciting one is temperature and humidity sensing. Yes, that's right. The HomePod Mini actually had a built-in temperature and humidity sensor that's been dormant all this time. It's kind of mind-boggling that Apple is just enabling this now, considering the device was released more than two years ago in November 2020. Setup. The new capabilities will show up automatically once you update your HomePod Mini to software version 16.3 and your devices to iOS 16.3. Once you've done that, you'll see a new accessories menu under the HomePod Mini settings, which will show two new sensors, humidity and temperature. Apple states that when signing up for the first time, it'll take some time for the sensors to calibrate. There are several ways to view the temperature and humidity sensor readings. Firstly, you can ask Siri things like, what's the temperature in the dining room? Or, what's the humidity in the dining room? And it will give you the current readings. Three, what's the temperature in the dining room? It's 23.8 degrees Celsius in the dining room. Secondly, at the top of the home screen of the home app, the climate tile shows the temperature or a temperature range if you have multiple sensors with different readings. Tap on the climate tile to view all the climate related sensors and smart devices in your home, including the HomePod Mini's temperature and humidity readings. Tap on the temperature tile or the humidity tile to show all the individual sensors, readings and settings. Another way to access the readings is to navigate to the room view of where your HomePod Mini is placed. The temperature and humidity readings for that room are shown at the top. Again, a range will be displayed if you have two or more of the same type of sensors in the same room, but with different readings. This includes two HomePod Minis grouped together as a stereo pair. Accuracy. The temperature and humidity information that I've been receiving indicates that the HomePod Mini sensors are quite accurate and consistent, with only very minor deviations. After leaving three HomePod Minis and a Qingping air quality monitor light in the same environment, the temperature in degrees Celsius on the four devices read 24, 24.5, 25 and 25.5. The humidity percentage on the four devices read 57, 60, 58 and 57. Something to note is that according to Apple, the temperature and humidity sensing is optimized for indoor domestic settings when ambient temperatures are around 15 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius and relative humidity is around 30% to 70%. Also, the accuracy may decrease in some situations where audio is playing for an extended period of time at high volume levels, most likely due to the generation of heat. Automation The new temperature and humidity sensors can be used to set up automations using the Home app. For example, you can create a rule that turns on the fan and closes the blinds when the temperature rises above 25 degrees Celsius, or a rule that turns on the humidifier when the humidity drops below 40%. Unfortunately, this isn't possible using third-party apps such as Eve and Controller for HomeKit. Ambient Sounds Software Update 16.3 also brings remastered ambient sounds, which can now be added to scenes, automations and alarms in the Home app. Previously, this was limited to just Apple Music, but now you'll also be able to select one of six ambient sounds. Choices include Fireplace Forest Night Ocean Rain Stream And white noise Reoccurring home automations Reoccurring home automations can now be set up using just your voice on the HomePod Mini. The language you use has to be very precise. For example, instead of saying close the bedroom blinds every night, say close the bedroom blinds every day at 8 p.m. Personally, I'm not sure how much I'll use this ability as I prefer to set up my automations visually using the home app. Find My. You can now use Find My on your HomePod mini to ask Siri for the location of friends and family if they have shared it with you as well as any other items that you have connected to Find My through AirTags or any Find My enabled devices. Siri confirmations. Siri confirmations when controlling your smart home devices are now less verbose. If the action involves a device that shows a visual change, for example, a light, that's in the same room as the HomePod mini is in, 
Siri may not give you a confirmation at all. On the other hand, if it involves a device that doesn't show a visual change, for example, a heater, or devices that are located in another room, Siri will only play a soft tone to indicate that the request has been made instead of confirming with a sentence. Siri, turn off study light. Okay, the study light is off. Siri, turn on the bedroom air purifier. Of course, if it was unable to complete your request for whatever reason, Siri will still inform you of that. Conclusion. Overall, 16.3 is a fantastic update for the HomePod Mini. The new temperature and humidity sensors, ambient sound options, and extra Siri functionality are all welcome additions and makes the smart speaker even more versatile and useful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Hit that like button if you found this useful and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.